Consecration of St. Joseph, day 19. Joseph, most courageous, pray for us. So perfectly was he, St. Joseph, dead to the world and the flesh, that he did desire nothing but things of heaven. St. Bridget of Sweden. St. Joseph desired nothing but the things of heaven. He lived entirely for love of Jesus Christ, and after marrying, Jesus is the most faithful disciple. St. Joseph is the father of Jesus, but he is also a disciple of him. It takes courage to be a faithful disciple of Jesus. Many are willing to follow Jesus when it is pleasant, but not many are willing to follow him when it is difficult and filled with sorrow. St. Joseph was always faithful and always courageous. In different translations of the litany of St. Joseph, the title Most Courageous is sometimes rendered as Most Valiant or Most Strong. The three titles have the same essential meaning. St. Joseph was courageous and he was fearless. He feared nothing other than offending God and exercised tremendous fortitude in his protection of Jesus and of Mary. Fortitude is a cardinal virtue that strengthens the will and gives a person courage and a firm resolve to do God's will, even in the midst of great suffering. St. Joseph is a man of courage. The root word of courage is core, meaning heart. To be courageous is to love the, the good more than the fear of evil and suffering. The courageous man is stout-hearted, bold, and brave in the midst of trials. That St. Joseph was courageous, no one can deny. It took courage for St. Joseph to take his family into enemy territory, Egypt. He knew that he might need to defend his wife and child against physical assaults, and he was willing to do that. No man who is easily intimidated would embark on such a journey. St. Joseph is intimidated by no one. St. Joseph will help you be courageous. To be a saint, you must be courageous. If you imitate St. Joseph, you will not hesitate to enter, enter, enter enemy territory or to undergo spiritual combat. Egypt was a land notorious for thieves, pagan rituals, idols, and sorcerers. Yet St. Joseph fears no man because God is always with him. Your spiritual father, he is a man on fire with love for God. If God is for us, who can be against us? Romans 8, 31. St. Joseph will increase the virtue of fortitude in you. Do you remember the passage in scripture when Jesus came walking on water to his disciples? The disciples were terrified, and Jesus had to calm their spirits, saying, Take courage, it is I. Do not be afraid. What about you? What are you afraid of? Are you afraid of losing your job? Sacrificing your good name and worldly honors? St. Joseph sacrificed everything for love of Jesus and for love of Mary. Your spiritual father was a poor man and of no esteem in this world. Yet demons and the sorcerers of Egypt were terrified of the courageous heart of St. Joseph. Jesus himself learned courage from the example of St. Joseph. Jesus witnessed his father's courage in Egypt, in Nazareth, in Jerusalem, and the many other places they traveled together. St. Joseph gave his son an example of manly love, courage, strength, and fortitude. With St. Joseph as your spiritual father, you will also have nothing to be afraid of. Our Lord himself, immediately before his suffering and death, instructed his disciples to exercise manly courage, telling them, In the world you will have trouble, but take courage, I have conquered the world. Set your face toward the heavenly Jerusalem, and never look back. O oh, Joseph, Virgin Father of Jesus, most pure spouse of the Virgin Mary, pray for us daily to the Son of God that, armed with the weapons of His grace, we may fight as we may ought in life and be crowned by Him in death. Saint Bernadine of Siena. The Litany of Saint Joseph. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy.
Lord have mercy. Christ hear us. Christ hear us. us. God the Father in heaven. Have mercy on us. God the Son, the Redeemer of the world. Have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit. Have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God. Have mercy on us. Holy Mary. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Noble offering of David. Pray for us. Light of the patriarchs. Pray for us. Spouse of the Mother of God. Pray for us. Chaste guardian of the Virgin. Pray for us. Foster father of the Son of God. Pray for us. Zealous defender of Christ. Pray for us. Head of the Holy Family. Pray for us. Joseph most just. Pray for us. Joseph most chaste. Pray for us. Joseph most prudent. Pray for us. Joseph most courageous. Pray for us. Joseph most obedient. Pray for us. Joseph most faithful. Pray for us. Mirror of patience. Pray for us. Lover of poverty. Pray for us. Model of work. Pray for us. Glory of domestic life. Pray for us. Guardian of virgins. Pray for us. Pillar of families. Pray for us. Comfort of the afflicted. Pray for us. Hope of the sick. Pray for us. Patron of the dying. Pray for us. Terror of demons. Pray for us. Protector of the Holy Church. Pray for us. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. He has made him Lord of his household. And grace over all his possessions. Let us pray. O God, who in your loving providence chose blessed Joseph to be the spouse of your most holy mother. Grant us the favor of having him as our intercessor in heaven, whom on earth we venerate as our protector, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. to shame. Release me from the snare they have hidden for me, for you indeed are my refuge. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. 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 Lord, be with you. Bear ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries of our faith. My brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, that I have done and in that I have failed to do my call, do my call, do my confidence. Therefore, I ask my family of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me before the Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that purifying us by the sacred practice of penance, you may lead us in sincerity of heart 
to attain the holy things to come. The Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Master Doctor for Jorge and Leonora Silva, Rian Coyapa on her birthday, Ricky Umani on his birthday, and Tony Lozano on his birthday. reading from the book of Genesis. Israel loved Joseph best of all the sons, for he was a child of his old age. He had made him a long tunic. When his brothers saw their father loved him best of all the sons, they hated him so much that they would not even greet him. One day his brothers had gone to pasture their father's flock in Shechem. Israel said to Joseph, Your brothers, you know, are tending our flocks at Shechem. Get ready. I will send you to them. St. Joseph went after his brothers and caught up with them in Dothan. They noticed him from a distance, and before he came up to them, they plotted to kill him. They said to one another, Here comes that master dreamer. Come on. Let us kill him and throw him into one of the sisters here. We can say that a wild beast devoured him. We shall then see what comes of his dreams. When Reuben heard this, he tried to save him from their hands, saying, We must not take his life. Instead of shedding blood, he continued, just throw him into that cistern there in the desert. But do not kill him outright. His purpose was to rescue him from their hands and return him to his father. So when Joseph came up to them, they stripped him of his long tunic he had on. Then they took him and threw him into the cistern, which was empty and dry. They then sat down to their meal. Looking up, they saw a caravan of Ishmaelites coming from Gil. Their camels laden with gum, balm, and resin to be taken down to Egypt. Judah said to his brothers, What is to be gained by killing our brother and concealing his blood? Rather, let us sell him to these Ishmaelites instead of doing away with him ourselves. After that, after all, he is our brother, our own flesh. His brothers agreed. They sold Joseph to the Ishmaelites for 20 pieces of silver. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial song. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. When the Lord called down a famine on the land and ruined the crop that sustained them, he sent a man before them. Joseph sold was a slave. Remember the marvels of the Lord has done. They had weighed him down with feathers, and he was bound with chains, till his predictions came to pass, and the word of the Lord proved him true. Remember the marvels of the Lord has done. The king sent and released him. The ruler of the people set him free. He made him lord of his house. And rule of all its possessions. Amen. 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 God 
so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him might have eternal life. in it and built the tower. Then he leased it to tenants and went on a journey. When vintage time drew near, he sent his servants to the tenants to obtain his food. But the tenants seized the servants, and one they beat, another they killed, and the third they stoned. Again, he sent other servants, more numerous than the first ones, but they treated them in the same way. Finally, he sent his son to them, thinking, they will respect my son. But when the tenants saw the son, they said to one another, this is the heir. Come, let us kill him and acquire his inheritance. They seized him would not have been here to kill him. What will the owner of the vineyard do to those tenants when he comes? They answered him, who will put those wretched men to a wretched death and lease his vineyard to other tenants, who will give him the produce at the proper times. Jesus said to them, did you ever never read in the scriptures Stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. The stone by the Lord has this been done, and it is wonderful in our eyes. Therefore, I say to you, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a people that will produce its food. When the chief priests and the Pharisees heard his parables, they knew that he was speaking about them. Although they were attempting to arrest him, they feared the crowds, and they regarded him as a prophet. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise the Lord. calls each and every one of us to produce fruit in his vineyard. What is that fruit? We know. As we read the scriptures for ourselves and we are all at home. Who are we to be and what are we to do? To make this world a livable place to live in. To cherish love and respect for everyone. And to help those in need, to give them the means to help themselves. And to be words of encouragement and hope. So that when we get up every morning, we know we have something to live for. And to acknowledge the God that gives us the grace and the power to do these things. If only we will put 
Him first and us second. The vineyard, working in the vineyard is hard work. Because of the people who are always messing up our work. Putting obstacles in our way. Wanting to create this world for them rather than for others. We are workers in the vineyard. And we are accountable for everyone every produce that we produce. No question about it. You and I know that. Jesus is speaking to people who should know better. Religious people. <clears throat> people who know the law. And preach it to others. But what they preach, they do not do themselves. You want to know how what Jesus how what Jesus thinks about them? Keep on open your Bible to Matthew chapter twenty-three. So he tells his parable to them, and they don't like what they hear. Nobody doesn't like anyone criticizing them, and me included. I don't like people talking about, talking about the bad things that I do. They don't have to remind me because I can remind myself. I don't like criticism unless it's constructive. Nevertheless, it comes from all angles. These Pharisees and Sadducees are no different than you and I, are no better than you and I. They know better, but they will not do better. The day will come when they will have their day and think that they will get rid of the one who reminds them of what they should be. They will respect my son. The owner of the vineyard says, no, they won't. And as a result, the time will come when they will be accountable for what they do. Thank you for your patience with a long sermon. God has gifted us with unsurpassing mercy, with unmerited love and undeserved salvation. We ask God to continue to bestow this kindness upon us. That the church may not shy away from the challenging mission to free people from every form of injustice, we pray to the Lord. That civil leaders be renewed in their work for lasting peace and justice for all the people, we pray to the Lord. That all who work in ministries of healing Make the presence of God tangible to the sick and dying, to the discouraged and lonely, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our Lenten journey help us to be courageous in the face of the causes of our lives, and by grace pass through them to peace and glory, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we behold the divine joy in the good and the bad, 
the just and the unjust, the past and the future, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. all who have suffered and died may come to share the joy of everlasting life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, when our eyes are open and healed, we see your kindness to us and exult in joy. Hear our prayers and the hopes of all who trust in you. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We will accept the sacrifice and your hands. For the grace and glory of your name, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord. May your merciful grace prepare your servants, O God, for the worthy, for the worthy celebration of these mysteries, and lead them to it by a devout way of life. In Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold, rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you, as without end we acclaim. <laughs> time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was entered, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it. 
For this is the challenge of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in Matthew. The mystery of faith. Chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Lyman, our Bishop, and all who urge you. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep with the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her husband, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. We may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen.
an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself only to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen.
God loved us and sent his son as expiation for our sins. Let us pray. Having received this pledge of eternal salvation, we pray, O Lord, that we may set our course so well as to attain the redemption you promised through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord and one another. Thanks to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. We are the chance of giving you the snare of the devil. May God give you the peace of the faith. Thou, Prince of Heaven, and Lord, put my heart on cast into hell Satan and all his evil spirits, brought out of the world, seeking the Lord's soul.